that's what my coaches told me. You know, Javier Mendez, Bob Cook, they laid out a great plan for me to win this fight. Uh, they say I followed it to perfection. So uh, I worked with all those guys. You know, my jiu-jitsu coach, Dave Camarillo, showed me the positions, how to avoid if I did fall into those situations. So uh, I attribute this win totally to my, my uh, coaching staff and the people that trained me. By far the biggest win of my career. Um, Statement's important, important. When you start to get to the level that I am uh, in my mixed martial arts career, I've got to be impressive in fights that um, I think I should win. You know, and even the ones that I'm not supposed to win, I've got to be impressive and I've got to compete to the best of my ability. So uh, with that being said, I thought I did. Uh, I fought hard and uh, felt great. You know, I didn't get tired. Uh, I've kept the pace up the whole time. Great, uh, good counters and uh, just kickbox. It was a great fight. Jeff's a two-time Abu Dhabi submission grappling champion, you know. Um, <laughs> When you start going with a guy like that on the ground, it's very dangerous for anyone. You know, obviously he won those titles with a lot of ability. It's not an easy competition to compete in. So uh, it was it was, uh, it was was part of the game plan. I didn't want to go into his area if I felt like I had the uh, advantage standing. And I think me and my coaching staff are the only ones that kind of felt that because he's got to believe fighting 10, 12 years that he had the advantage in the stand-up. But I have the best training partners in the world. Uh, obviously, you know, King Velasquez, uh, King Mo, Kyle Kingsbury, uh, shoots the list goes on Mike Kyle Mark Ellis I've got the best training partners in the world so um, standing across the cage from anybody else is just uh, another day